Ready? You're rolling. Okay. Hi, and welcome to the Sunday Suppers, my favorite place to shop the Burnaby Farmers Market. Today I'm going to be demoing gazpacho, which is a cold soup with tomatoes, and I'm using Stein Mountain's beautiful produce. So we're just going to chop everything up, throw everything in the blender, and then have a taste. Alrighty, so here we go. So it consists of terry to uh, talk louder. Oh, it consists of tomatoes and cucumbers, peppers, beautiful peppers. You're making relish? <laughs> making gazpacho soup. And uh, parsley or basil or carrot tops, you know, your favorite herb, olive oil, bone broth, which I don't have today, uh, but it's gives you more minerals and it's uh, more flavor. Uh, lemon. <laughs> Of course you want lemon, but you can also use apple cider vinegar if you like, or if you want limes, or if you want um, like a balsamic vinegar, but you need some type of an acid. I prefer lemons. Uh, sea salt, freshly sea salt and pepper. Throw everything in the blender, and uh, you have lovely gazpacho. Okay, so, and garlic, of course. <laughs> Alrighty, so, what you want to put in the blender first is the stuff that's... I have to talk louder, right? Eh? Hey, I gotta talk louder, really loud here. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> have to have the gloves, health reasons. They're very clean though. So you want to start with the heaviest, densest vegetables. So the peppers will go in first, and then the cucumbers, and then the tomatoes, and then the rest of the stuff. Thank you very much. And you just keep it chunky. generator happening over there so that's probably what you're hearing here. It's hard to cut with gloves. I feel like I'm going to cut your fingers, man. That's okay. Maybe a little bit louder. <laughs> louder! <laughs> okay, so I put one pepper in there and I'm going to use one cucumber. And this is a lemon cucumber. It looks like a lemon. It doesn't really taste like a lemon cucumber, but it's lighter. But it's, every time I eat one, I feel happy. I don't know why. It makes me happy. Hmm? And they're so good. And I put a little bit of salt because, you know, I like salt. Himalayan pink sea salt. I smile it. Woohoo! Good stuff, guys. Okay. Yeah, and their stuff is grown with love, and I'm making something with love. <laughs> so fragrant smelling. And then you got whoop, wrong knife. This is my tomato knife. And so they're tomatoes. I'm using cherry. Four. These are um, heirloom cherry tomatoes, or what? What are yes. these? What? Heirloom cherry tomatoes? Fresh from their farm in Linton? Yeah, 72 varieties of tomatoes. 72 varieties of tomatoes. And what about your apples? Oh, yeah. 60 something. 60 something. And then what is from the oldest? How old is that tree? So we just chop up. It's a beautiful. Oh, look at this one! Isn't he cute? Look at <laughs> Very that! Cute. <laughs> it's like a see, it's a heart. And tomatoes are actually really good for your heart. They really are. Oh, see, beautiful. <laughs> They're full of vitamin C. They, uh, what do you call it? I can't pronounce it. Direct, whatever, whatever you call it. Cucumbers are very high in water content, and they're. Cucumbers are very high in water content, and they are a uh, good antioxidant, and they're really good for your kidneys. All right, you've got lemon. Oh, wrong knife. I didn't bring my juicer. Oh, well. So we go like this. The Rachel Ray taught me how to do the go like this with the lemons, and you don't get any of the, the seeds in there. But, I like the lemon flavor. And of course, we need beautiful, this is beautiful Russian garlic right here. And the 
best way to do the garlic? You take it and you go bam, like that. <laughs> bam. <laughs> Woo! And there you go. Easy peasy. Instead of trying to sit here and take the skin off, you just bam it. Who was that? Uh, what's his name? Bam guy. And then you just kind of chop. Because it's a, such a, a strong garlic, you know, you can put more in if you want, but you might, if you have problems, you might, you know, you don't want to put too much in because you don't want to work it all up, right? So this is Himalayan pink sea salt and nice freshly cracked pepper, which I can't do. Okay, gloves off. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there we go. Drunk it. I like pepper. All right. And then uh, you can put, like I said, uh, basil, parsley. I'm going to use basil today. And a little bit of, little bit of carrot tops, just because, you know, the flavor. Why not? So there you go. And then, of course, olive oil. And I have Greek olive oil. And you just kind of, I don't know, you wing it. So about a cup or so. So it's a few turns of the wrist here, right? I don't really measure, but what did I say on my recipe? A cup? Yeah. Something like that. And then now just a little bit of water. You know, you have to cut a hole in the top of it. You need air coming in. Punch a hole. Oh, there we go. Yep, got it. Okay. I want more olive oil because I like it. And then the top was right here. Okay. Now, there we go. Voila! Pistachio soup. Like, but we'll find out. Oh, I need to... Does he have a little? I'm gonna grab. So I need a little uh, taster spoon or something, Ron. A witch? A witch? <laughs> no, no. What do you need? <laughs> a, a, a spoon. Or Does he have a little a stir stick or something? Please. <laughs> or I'll just do this. Can you pour it? Yeah. It's a hit! It's a hit! <laughs> I would probably add a little more garlic too, a little more sea salt, because I like lots of flavor. But wow! Okay! Oh my goodness, this is amazing! <laughs> I don't need it now, <laughs> but that's okay. Oh my god! No, it's for your, your viewing audience. See, I followed through. <laughs> oh! Oh! Leah! Is it yes, I would like to. Ah. And it is chunky. You don't have to have it chunky. You can keep it uh, lovely. Isn't that fresh? But I think so fresh. I think I would. Pardon me. Oh, sure. Sorry. Thank you. You're welcome. What? I think oh, that I would. Uh, almost as fresh as me. Oh! <laughs> ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> Have I would probably, day. I probably Thank put a little you. more sea salt in here, so I'm going to do a little more. What do lovely. you think, Ron? That's really flavorful. It's nice. Isn't it? I've never ever tried a grilled soup before. No? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's really lovely. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Would you like a taste? Okay. Okay, I'm just going to doctor it up a bit. All the product I'm using, except for, of course, the lemons, are from these guys here. Because they don't grow lemons on their farm, apparently. Or, or olive oil. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Oh, Stephanie, you got to have some. What am I doing here? So this is called gazpacho, and it's a... It's 
For me? You want it? No. You can. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go so we'll be here till two and the farmers market here goes uh the last one here for the winter for this uh season october 29th and then it starts up again in in april so go to your farmers market they're, they're they're all over the place too you can just google uh farmers market and it'll tell you all the different markets throughout the lower mainland their times so thank you and uh cheers Sunny suppers.